Hello everyone, my name is Liam McMahon. I'm a currency strategist at GlobalFXClub.com uh, and I want to do a brief uh, preview of the Bank of Japan news that we have coming out um, tonight if you're on in the US. Uh, it's Wednesday, February 13th and uh, late today or early tomorrow morning, um, again depending on your time zone, uh, the Bank of Japan is expected to release its monetary policy statement, its overnight rate decision, and hold a press conference, all of which uh, usually tend to have a very dramatic effect on yen pairs, uh, and that trend should not change today, as of course the market will be eagerly anticipating uh, signs of new stimulus plans, or what uh, the BOJ is planning, uh, considering the recent weakness of the yen, and also the possible um, comments by the G7, you know, sort of condemning this, or tentatively perhaps condemning this uh, sudden and, and drastic weakening of the yen. Uh, so all eyes will be on the BOJ. It's expected, of course, that they're going to continue to talk about how the yen is too strong and they want to weaken the yen. Uh, the question will be whether or not um, the market's priced in more than they're willing to offer uh, at this time. Um, considering the rally in yen pairs, it's certainly conceivable that any sort of disappointment will spark a fairly large sell-off um, as a good deal of profit-taking uh, is likely to occur, again, considering the strength and length of the trend. Uh, but we're going to look at some opportunities that exist on both sides of the market today. Uh, fittingly enough, a lot of yen pairs are setting up into a very attractive technical setups. Um, which should provide uh, a good trading opportunity, really, no matter what the BOJ does. It will, the BOJ is really just going to provide the liquidity uh, and the volatility needed to, to play these technical setups. So before we jump to those technical setups, uh, please take a moment to pause the recording and read our risk disclaimer, uh, and then we'll move to the charts. All right, excellent. So we have uh, five yen pairs open, euro yen, pound yen, Swiss yen, Aussie yen, and dollar yen. Uh, we're going to start with euro yen because it is, for me, the most attractive setup um, and the most clear. Uh, you can see that we have sort of this vaguely suggestive head and shoulders pattern here with the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder. This right shoulder has extended uh, fairly significantly, uh, sort of weakening uh, the structure of the pattern. Uh, but we have what we have developed instead is actually a very... Uh, neat and orderly triangle. You can see on the bottom side of the triangle once, twice, three times, four times we've tested this uh, bottom of the triangle so clearly a validated trend line uh, and on the top side once, twice, three times, four times as well uh, we've tested this top trend line again so both sides of this triangle uh, have been validated and you can see price slowly starting to condense as we move through the triangle um, prepping itself for a breakout. Now, of course, we have we don't know which direction, and that the direction will come from whatever it is that the BOJ says, or more accurately, however it is the market chooses to react to what the BOJ says. Um, but we do know that a breakout is coming uh, one way or another, and we'll certainly be looking to, to trade it in either direction. Um, obviously, considering the strength of the yen trend, you can see this dramatic um, move upward. Um, the trend obviously favors further upside, uh, and so a break higher, certainly very possible, even likely. Uh, but don't underestimate uh, the power of a, of a potential break lower. Um, the first line of resistance, in addition to this bottom trend line, is this 50-period EMA uh, on the 4-hour chart, followed by the 100-period EMA, which is currently trading at 123.58. Um, these two levels will provide uh, a certain amount of buoyancy in euro yen, uh, even in sort of slowing down a breakdown. Um, four hour close below this triangle looks to expose uh, a move down to probably 122.50 or so, um, or an aggressive move lower down to 120.80 um, as we sort of find these previous swing highs. Uh, a move higher uh, clears the way really for a move up to 130. Um, if not even higher um, in the weeks and, or days and weeks to come. So we'll be looking for either side of a break on this triangle. Uh, considering the uh, overbought nature of yen pairs, a uh, break to the downside is cert would certainly be welcome just to work off some of this 
uh, excess, some of these excess, excess longs uh, shake some of the weaker hands out of the market so we can reset and eventually move higher with a little bit healthier technical um, uh, backings. So that's what we're looking at on Euro Yen. Pound Yen, a little less clear. Uh, the pound has been getting hammered across the board lately and the, even Pound Yen has not been exempt from the pound sell-off. Uh, it's made this sort of rounded top sloppy. Uh, rounded top is maybe the best um, name for whatever it is that's going on up here. Uh, but what we do have here on pound yen is one uh, clear buying opportunity. Should the should the yen pairs break lower, um, if you want to look to rejoin sort of this aggressive bullish trend, pound yen does offer an opportunity for that. You can see here we have our a breakout level with one, two, and then a bunch of touches on this trend line before a solid green candle popping higher. Uh, we have yet to retest this breakout. So a retest, which would come in uh, probably around 143.60 or so. Um, so about uh, over 150 pips lower um, would be a decent opportunity to start to look for longs. Uh, the presence of this 200 period EMA here in orange um, supports this theory uh, as it's sort of just underneath the markets, or just underneath this trend line, currently trading at 142.65. Uh, so this area hopefully could provide some support on a spike lower um, after whatever the BOJ is to report. Um, a break higher by pound yen uh, is not in my opinion, a favorable trade considering the state of the pound. Uh, there are just better opportunities to short the yen than against the pound. Um, but if we do get this aggressive move lower, it might be nice. Uh, it might provide a very nice entry into rejoin sort of a longer trend, a very clear uh, long entry as opposed to chasing an, a move higher after the news event. Swiss yen uh, is perhaps the, the pair with the head and shoulders the most still intact. That right shoulder is still a little bit long, but it's it still looks a little bit more clear than some of the other ones. Um, in a, that's sort of the, the blue setup. Uh, the red setup is my preferred setup, however, um, and that's sort of this descending triangle. Uh, I mean, you can really play a break to either side. Um, it kind of looks... You can treat this more like a pennant than anything. If we turn these red, which then, of course, opens up the door for uh, a break higher uh, and offers a nice technical setup for that. Um, again, major support down if we spike lower comes in at about 100.60. 100 um, this 100 period EMA is trading at 100.22 uh, opportunity to buy lower or to trade a breakout higher. Um, Aussie yen, very clear channel. Uh, look to sell at the top of the channel or buy at the bottom of the channel. Uh, whichever direction the market moves, if you're looking to fade, you could do that. If you get a breakout lower, uh, you can look to take a short. I would prefer not to trade a breakout higher, however. Um, I would rather fade the top uh, or trade a breakout lower. And finally, dollar yen, kind of the same idea. Not a very dollar yen least clear, I think, of the yen pairs, um, even less so than pound yen. Uh, it's clearly held up by this 50 period EMA of late. Um, rallies to the top of this ascending wedge could be faded, uh, but really it's probably best just to hope for a breakout to the downside to play. Um, a short looking for uh, 91, 95, and eventually 90. Uh, 90 is the ideal target, I think, to try to start getting long again uh, if we pull back that far. You know, not necessarily tonight, uh, but in the next you know three to four days, or even into next week. So that's what we are looking for on yen pairs. No matter what the uh, BOJ has in store for us, we have technical setups to go with either side of the market. Um, definitely looking forward to ending some of this ugly congestion on yen pairs that we've been experiencing uh, and either resume the trend or start the pullback. Either way, we're prepared. If you have any questions, head on over to globaleffectsclub.com. Feel free to ask us. Um, and thanks for listening. Have a good week.